I okay. I'm like I stopped it That's and then fine. okay. That's fine. That's fine. Tell me when. Okay. Um, trait care. We'll start off by having our trait care kit. We'll have a bottle of sterile water. We'll have a bottle of hydrogen peroxide. This is, um, although it's technically a, a clean procedure, we're going to treat it as a sterile procedure. We want to maintain as much as possible that this uh, trach dressing um, is, uh, is maintained. So we have sterile gloves, and we'll do this the same as we did for the open suctioning. One glove will be considered sterile, the other one will be considered non-sterile. I can get these on my hand with a glove on. Challenge. Kind of helps to not have two <laughs> fingers there. Let's get that one adjusted once I get this glove on. Inside of our kit, we have a small tray with a brush, um, some uh, pipe cleaners, and some uh, Q-tips, along with some gauze pads. We also have a sterile dressing. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up so I can put all my stuff onto my sterile uh, dressing. So this is now sterile. Brush, pipe cleaners, Q-tips. In gauze pads. Now you'll notice there are there's one type of gauze pads. Some people call them pants because they kind of look like pants. <laughs> but this is um, this is where you wanna uh, that we're gonna use as as our dressing. Never cut gauze to make this. You wanna have one that is pre-done because if you cut gauze, all those fibers are gonna be able to um, become. Um, airborne and, 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 and potentially uh, cause some problems. And we have some trach ties also, but we're going to use the disposable ones in the in the process. So now, I just touch that. Sterile, sterile, sterile hand, non-sterile hand. So I'm going to go ahead, take my non-sterile hand, and open my water. And I'm going to open up my peroxide. And I'm going to do a um, half and half mixture of the two. So I'm going to go ahead then and remove the old dressing. Make sure when you're, oh these are the trait ties. It's the back right yeah. So when you loosen these, make sure that you don't loosen them such that the trach itself might slip out. I'm going to remove the old dressing. I'm going to go ahead then and take and do some cleaning around, always cleaning away from the trach tube itself. Rinsing it and taking this and just drying it off. If we notice that there is some skin breakdown or some uh, redness, we can put some bath tracin um, ointment on it to decrease the amount of ir irritation that is there. Then I want to go ahead and remove my inner cannula. Now on the Shiley trach, there's a locking mechanism that is there, so you just turn it and we can go ahead and let that clean. And we will have a spare inner cannula that we will have so now the patient can be ventilated again. Um, we can go ahead then and put our dressing on. And we would get a new set of trach ties 
and we would go ahead and have the trait types changed out also. And then these are just secured on the back of the patient. We then come over to our um, inner cannula. We're going to go ahead and clean it. Dry it. And allow it to use for the for the next time. So we'll swap be between the between the two. Uh, when you're using this, make sure you try to hold it by this. This part needs to be the sterile com component. Yeah, here.